Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be working with Spellbinder's Small Die of the Month to make this really adorable card. And here are the supplies I'll be using. I have my anti-static tool. I have embossing powder in clear as well as white. I have my art glitter glue, some Versamark, a stamp block. I have Distress Oxide and Faded Jeans. I have my jewel picker tool there. I have um, a blending tool and some glitter. And I have my card base as well as some panels and paper that I'll be using to die cut. And I have silver cardstock there as well for some pieces. This is the set, the Spellbinders Small Die of the Month. It's adorable. And I'll be using a stamp from the Recollections. It says Let It Snow as my sentiment. And I have this Hero Arts background that I'm going to use for snow, you'll see. My Misty, of course, my heat tool, and these markers, these alcohol markers. And let's get started. So I'm putting a panel into um, my Misty, and I'm lining up the background stamp. And I am going to emboss this in white, and this will be my background. Um, I like this background stamp because it's the the round detail on it. They're all different sizes, so it kind of looks like snowfall. So that's why I decided to go with this for my background. And now I'm just going to emboss it in white. Obviously, you will not see it, but it will come to life in a moment. So I'm just putting the embossing powder all around. And I'm going to heat this up. And I'll just fast forward through this part because you can't see it anyway. <laughs> Okay, so now we're all melted and good to go, and now I'm taking the Faded Jeans Distress, and here it is. It, you can see the detail on the background now. So I really wanted to concentrate this color around the outside and then just lightly fade it into the middle. And I'm just wiping it clean because the embossing resists the ink, so whatever was sitting on top I just rubbed away. There's a shift in my camera here, so I apologize. I didn't realize I moved the table and it kind of shifted, but you can still see everything I'm doing. So here I'm just cutting some snow banks. Um, I had cut these two pieces and I lined them up to see how they would look, and then I decided to cut another one that was a little larger for the left side of the card. And I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to take those snow banks and I'm going to add a little glue along the top edge of each one of them and I'm going to sprinkle some uh, glitter on top of it. I just thought it'd be a nice touch to kind of have that shining uh, element on it so it's not so just flat white up against the card. So here I'm just adding a little bit more just to really give it a nice little glitter, a little shine. The glitter, um, it looks like it's white. It's not, it's more kind of like clear, clear like shiny, um, and it just reflects the light really nicely. So I just thought it was a nice little touch for it. So I did that, and I'll set those aside so that they can dry, and we'll move on to the rest of the card. So we're going to start die cutting. I decided to die cut the pieces that will stay white first. So I'm just taking the body of the snowman, the head of the snowman, as well as um, there's a die in here that's like a little tiny snow bank for, uh, that you can use on either the tree trunk so that it looks like it's sitting like under the snow or you can use it on the sign, the North Pole sign. So I'm going to cut that out as well. And then out of the silver card stock, I thought it'd be nice to cut out the... Um, the skis and the poles. I, I thought it'd be nice to have them in silver. And so I cut those out and that's them right there. So uh, this is like the first time that I'm ac actually doing anything that's um, paper piecing like this with no stamping and just cutting pieces out. So this was a lot of fun. Um, it took a long time, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it, um, it definitely took a while, but it was a lot of fun. It was very relaxing, and it was nice to just see it kind of come together. Um, so here I just put a piece of tape behind the face so that it can hold the little dots of the smile as well as the dots on the body, the buttons of the snowman. 
So that's what I did there. And now I'm going to start die cutting other pieces. So this round piece is the top hat on the snowman and I'm going to cut out there's a little star and a little cap for the pole uh, for the sign that says North Pole on it so okay so obviously you can use black cardstock for this um, and I do have black cardstock but I don't have any other colored cardstock as many of you know I usually just make my own cardstock with uh, like distress oxides or any type of like inks in this case I decided to use alcohol markers and so I'm just putting down a little color for the pieces that I want in those colors and I cut them out and uh, here they are so I can have everything in whatever color I want and it's convenient um, you know I think maybe it would be easier for you to just use colored cardstock if you have it of course there's nothing wrong with that but I unfortunately I don't have color cardstock so this is the easiest method for me so I just continue to go through all the different pieces and elements and I just take them out and then I decide what color I want them in and just color my cardstock and place them and cut them easy peasy so here I'm arranging the tree I wasn't sure what elements I wanted to use in the card or for that matter would be able to fit on the card but I figured I'd just cut everything uh, once use whatever it is I was going to use and whatever's left I can always keep to make another card so here I am I'm cutting the tree trunk and the leaves to the tree as well as the little arms for uh, the snowman I decided to do in brown um, and a little orange there for the nose. There's two noses, one for each snowman. In this kit you're able to do two snowmen. One of them is uh, facing upwards looking up into the sky and the other one is forward facing. So in today's card I decided to work with the one looking up. I just thought he was so cute, so adorable. and. Um, so I think it would be really nice to have him kind of looking up and all the snow falling around him and have my sentiment above him. So that was the plan. So there's also little mittens. There's two layers to the mittens. One of them um, has kind of like, a, I guess what would be like fur around the wrist area. And then there's a layer on top of it for, you know, the fingers and the thumb. So I cut them out in two different colors. So I could layer those up. And here I'm just going to take all these die cuts apart. So the tree is really cute. It comes with extra sprigs um, that you can add to it to kind of make it like full. Um, ultimately, I did not uh, end up using the tree at all. But like I said, I'll keep all these pieces. And on my next card, I could probably use the other snowman and use the tree with it. Um, so here I am just, this is when I decided this is the North Pole side. I wanted it in blue and I cut out, um, I, I kept all the little letters to inlay, uh, but I wanted to cut it again in red. I thought that would be a nice touch to do the actual letters in red. So I cut it once again. I wasn't concerned about the actual shape of the sign. I just wanted the letters cut out. So I just put that through my die cutting machine and just punched out all the letters and I'll inlay those when I'm ready to piece everything together. Now this die has, which is really adorable, it has a little bit of a snow detail for you to put on top of the sign as if like the sign had caught some snow and it's piled up on top of it. So I decided to uh, put some glitter on that. I thought that would be another added touch since I did the banks of snow with some glitter. I think it just, it will all look cohesive. And I decided to do that as well with the little snow banks that the sign or the tree would go into. Again, just all these layers, all these um, different details that just add to the card. And here I'm just taking a black alcohol marker and just painting all of those, uh, you know, the mouth of the snowman and the buttons that go on the body. And now I'm going to start piecing together. So here I'm just laying things out, just getting a feel for where everything is going and how I'm going to glue it together. It's so stinking cute. I love this. <laughs> it's just looking up. So I just start gluing everything on. There's the nose and I'm going to glue the hat on the back. 
And at this point, this is where it kind of like starts coming together very quickly. So now I'm putting all those little tiny dots uh, for the mouth. Um, it's just, it, it was so just relaxing. The time honestly flew. I couldn't believe how long I had been crafting. Uh, here is the little scarf on the snowman. So cute. You could do it, of course, any color. I just thought the red is just festive and just goes really well. It pops well with, you know, the white and orange and black and all of that. Like, it just looks so stinking cute. I love it. Now I'm working on the mittens. These are the two layers I was telling you. So you'll see when I put it together, it just has that blue detail down by the wrist area. So I just put those. I, I think you'd be fine with just using one or the other, uh, but I just thought layering them was a nice little touch. So I went ahead and did that. And now I'm putting on his little hands. He's so cute. Now um, I designed this, like I put him together pretty much what the sample shows on the back of the die. It gives you a couple samples of what the snowman might look like. So I just kind of followed that. But I have plans to do a couple different things, um, different layouts with the snowman. So here I'm putting the poles, the ski poles on his mittens, like he's holding them. I can't, it's just so, so adorable. And now I'm going to line up the skis and put him on it, kind of where I want it. Put some glue and boom. So he's done. So now I'm going to go back to my panel and I'm going to put down these uh, banks of snow. And I just overlap them just like that. And you can't see the glitter, uh, but I promise it is there. And I promise it does add to the card. Um, it's hard to see. So this is where I'm deciding what I'm going to have. If I'm going to put both things, one or the other. I wasn't sure the direction I wanted to go with it. So I'm just kind of laying things out just to get a feel for what it looks like. But ultimately, I thought the sign was super, super cute. So I decided to go that route. And that's the little post. So cute. So I take um, the snowbank. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I decided to cut. I forgot that the pole uh, for North Pole has the, the cutouts in it. And I wanted those to be white as well. So I had cut those out. And here I'm placing the snow on top of the sign. And it's all glittery which you can't see, but it's there. <laughs> super shiny, super cute. So I take the bank of snow and I'm putting the pole behind it just to get a feel of placement. And I decided to tuck it behind the lowest bank that I had cut out. And that fit perfect there. And that was a perfect detail. So I just put a dab of glue and stick my sign in there. And then glue down my sign or the pole. Anyway, and now I'm putting the detail on the inside in white. So it kind of looks like that peppermint, red and white swirl situation. And I put the little post on top in yellow. And I put down my sign. Once I put down my sign, that's when I go and fill in all the letters. I have them in red. And although this part was a bit tedious, it was not difficult at all was really easy, especially with the jewel picker. I highly recommend that you have a jewel picker when you're working with tiny pieces like this, when you're trying to inlay. It just, it helps pick the pieces up, place them where you want them, and you're good to go. You move along quickly. So this wasn't that bad at all. So I put all my pieces in. So cute. Love it. And once that's done, taking my snowman, I decide I want him right there, looking up. Adorable. And now I'm putting the buttons on him, in the center on his body. That's done and done. And now I'm taking, I used 
all scrap paper as you can see waste not want not I just keep reusing these pieces as long as there's space on it I'm gonna use it so I take my sentiment and I line it up where I want it and it's kind of like a solid image so I use some Versamark real quick just to prime it and then I use it I use the um, faded jeans to stamp it and I stamped it twice and it came out really nice and then this um, stamp set comes with dies as well coordinating dies um, so I end up cutting that out but I put some clear embossing powder on it just to give it again added shine and just give it uh, more interest to the card because everything's lying pretty flat even though I'm using all die cuts but it just gives it more interest so I'm lining up my die and I'm gonna cut that out and you'll see in a moment what that looks like and I decided to pop that up like I said most of the card is flat so I thought it'd be nice to just pop it up and add some dimension this way put that on there wasn't sure where I wanted to place it but I think up along the top in the center was perfect so now I'm gonna glue down my panel onto my base and this card is done guys <laughs> Just like that. I think it's absolutely adorable. This was a lot of fun to do and work with. It was very relaxing and um, I love the way it turned out and I hope you do too. So if you're watching and you're not a subscriber, please do so. Leave a comment and like the video. Um, I really appreciate your support as always and for all of you that are already subscribed, I hope you enjoy and as you all already know, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.